justify that takedown on I-75. A man suspected of shooting a woman now in critical condition, leading police on this wild chase. And it ended with this incredible video, the man actually, man actually climbing on a minivan and police tackling them there. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joining us live now. And Kim, you talked to that driver of the minivan. I know he had to be frightened. Uh, very scary. The chase was actually going southbound on 75 here. The driver of that minivan was heading north when he saw the police helicopter in the air. The next thing he knew, a fleeing suspect was on the roof of his minivan. I was scared. That's the only thing that uh, I can tell you. I just didn't want him to hijack my car. No one in Hollywood could have directed a better takedown than this one carried out by Detroit police this afternoon. And we talked to the driver of that silver minivan who was caught in the middle of it all. I could hear those noise and my heart pounding. Detroit police began chasing the 36-year-old driver of this gray Nissan because he is suspected of shooting a woman in the head early yesterday morning in southwest Detroit. And for most of the chase, police use a helicopter to track his every move. And then here on southbound 75 near Clark, the suspect bailed out having blown a tire. He jumped the center median and went into oncoming traffic, trying to make his getaway on foot. But there were so many officers hot on his trail, and who knows what he was thinking or where he thought he was going to go when he climbed onto the minivan. The driver inside, petrified. I just stood there. I was frozen. In my mind, I thought that he was going to get inside the car and, and do something to me. That's what uh, I was scared of. And he was only relieved when he was certain the suspect was in handcuffs. I was a relief. Um, he couldn't do nothing else to hurt anybody. And that's it. And coming up on Action News at 6, you'll hear what police found in the suspect's vehicle after his arrest. Reporting live in southwest Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Thank you for the live report, Kim. We're all bracing for Irma, the storm closing in on Florida.